Saudi Pro League is one of the most hyped football league in the world right now. Their rise had been both incredible and controversial at the same time. From being a no-name league to sign Cristiano Ronaldo and having links with players like Benzema, Busquets and even Leo Messi. They achieved all of this in just half a year. Despite the fact that the Saudi Pro League isn't even among the top 50 football leagues in the world and are ranked below the French 2nd Division and even the 3rd Division of German football. So, how did the Saudi Pro League came out of nowhere and became the next big thing in football? Well, there are two major reasons behind it, including the second one which is a bit controversial. So, let's save it for later. And as of the first one, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, it was a huge shock when one of the greatest football players of all time suddenly decided to leave Europe and join a no-name Saudi Arab club like Al Nasser. Despite the fact that he was still playing for some of the top European clubs and scoring, Ronaldo was criticized a lot for choosing money over football. But in the end, it worked out just fine, both for him and the Saudi Pro League. As in just six months, the popularity of the league went sky high. Empty stadiums started getting packed and around 137 new channels started broadcasting the Saudi Pro League in 125 countries around the world. All of that just because of one man. This basically forced other Saudi clubs to make big signings to remain in the competition. Just like what happened in Italy after Ronaldo joined Juventus back in 2018. Which brings us to our second major reason, money. You see, it's true that everyone was shocked when Ronaldo joined Al Nasser. However, the even bigger surprise was the amount of money Al Nasser paid him. I mean 200 million euros per annum, it's like 10 times what he used to earn at Manchester United. Although if you think that's a lot, then how about Al Hilal's 1 billion euros offered to Leo Messi? It's just insane. And it's not like they are the only ones, as players like Benzema, Busquets and even Sergio Ramos, who are way past their prime, are also getting similar offers. For instance, recently Karim Benzema was offered around 100 million euros per annum, with full liberty to choose his club and any other luxuries he may want, which according to us is not good for football at all. As if this keeps up, then eventually even the young players will end up chasing money. So yeah, it might be a good thing for the Saudi Pro League, but not for the game. Well guys, what do you think about the influence of oil money in football? Do let us know in the comments and make sure to check out this video on will FIFA count the goals scored at Saudi Pro League.